All right. Hey, Grandpa. <laughs> We've already started. Yeah. What's what's uh? Just tell us tell us what we're gonna do right now. Uh, we'll just go down through the pasture, around the hill maybe, and uh, just look things over. It don't look too good right now because there there's no leaves on the trees. It's pretty bare, but but it's it's different. It's a different kind of a ride. So it, and it's, it's all right. I can I can make it. Or I just went yesterday, so I think I can make it around everything. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's I'll film you getting in. Which horse was that? That's one of Callie's colts. We had, she had, we had three colts this, this summer, so maybe we'll get a few more next year. <laughs> nice job. Get the gate. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what's the what's that gate for? Well, to keep the horses in. They they have 200 acres they run on, so it. It, uh, and if it gets op left open, there they seem to find it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So when did you first get this land? Oh man, back in about 1970, 71, somewhere in there. Guy stopped in this. I kept asking him why well, he sell me the land. I didn't have no money. I told him I'd give him more money for it. But uh, <laughs> he stopped in and told me I, if I wanted, I had to tell him right now. I had an hour to make up my mind and get the money. And boy, I done some scrambling. And the banker said, go ahead. So I'd been talking to him for a couple, three, four months ahead of time too. So anyhow, I told him I want, I want the farm. I got the money. <laughs> I want to go sign the paper right now. That was kind of a dumb thing to say, but but he just shook his head and told me to get out. I didn't figure he was going to sell it to me anyhow. So, but but he did. And uh, seven years later, he told me he said they wouldn't never sold me the farm, but he he said he didn't. He knew I couldn't get the money. <laughs> I fooled him. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really love this land. I, it, uh, Why do you love it so much? It's kind of like out west, kind of a lot, a lot of trees, a lot of land, a lot of, a lot of, oh, sandy, big canyons. And I got three deep canyons back in there, just from erosion. Got the big hill, got the beach. Can swim, can do anything. It, it's. Uh, mile and a half or a mile anyhow of river frontage. Got a little creek. You can raw water runs all the way down through the farm. It's not very big, but I've got trails all over everywhere. I had the head man in the state of Wisconsin come out here on recreation and his advice to me he says, whatever you do, Rod, don't touch it. Just leave it like it is. So that's what I'm trying to do. Just not cut any tree unless it's really necessary. And uh, it, uh, there's been some trees come down from some of the storms and so forth, but I have tried to keep cut them up. But it, uh, it's, I really like the place. So. My mom's. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing, Grandpa? They're just riding, just on a daily ride, that's all. We're on a safari. <laughs> we saw some There's horses out the window. Wisconsin. We saw some Wisconsinites. <laughs> Wisconsin safari. Yeah. How do you drive through such a tight space? Well, I made the trails, and I had to practice. I had an old old Cadillac that, that uh, I just 
if I could make it through with the tractor, then I figured I could make it through with a tra with a Cadillac, and I'd try it out. If I put a dent in it, it didn't make too much difference, but I didn't have no trouble with it. And then, then I drive the newer cars or whatever through it. I got a pink Cadillac convertible I can drive through this. It's all a lot of fun. There's a roller coaster. Oh yeah, I'll film the cabin. Cabin. It was just something to do to make a cabin. I wanted to see if I could do it. And they turned out pretty good. <laughs> They've been here for 30 some years anyhow. So. So what's uh, your favorite, what do you like seeing your grandchildren and daughters do the most on your land? I like to have them have fun, they, they, they can swim, they've got horses to ride, they get trail rides, and miles and miles of trails. We all work and cut the trails out, Callie really does a lot of it, so, but it's having fun, I mean that's, that's, that's what I want to keep it for everybody so everybody can have fun. Friends and ever anybody. Anybody can come go camping, whatever they want to do. Just shut the gates when they come through so the horses don't get out. And, uh, this this is that mighty Kickapoo River. It gets very deep sometimes. A lot of fishing. There's, there's trout in there. I don't know how to fish but, but everybody else does. So. And I like to make it so they can get to the to the river to fish. So, and the horses keep the eat, grass eat down. So. What's this area here? This is the beach beach area. That, where the swimming is. The last big flood though was a terrible big one, and it, and it kind of build up the land around here and covered up all my sand. This is all ye pure yellow sand down here. Nice beach, but it, now it's, we had to bulldoze some of it off so we can get down to the water like we used to. So. But it's about all knee deep to waist deep, and maybe up to your chest out on the other side. It, uh, and all up and down here so you can swim. If you want to swim with a horse, you have to go around the corner and then it gets deeper. The girl, girl do a lot of that, or used to do a lot of it. Swim with horses? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, that's fun. And it's hard to stay on too, because your water gets between you and the horse and you just kind of float off. It's, uh, this got kind of hit, kind of hard with the flood, but we get gets all fixed back up again. They used to swing off in the, the trees here, swing off with a rope and then drop into the water. But that tree got ruined, so I we'll have to make a new, different one again. We'll have to get on and on up there. So. Well, well. Hey How's it feel to have another great grandchild? Oh boy, that's good. That's great. <laughs> Got three great granddaughters and one great grandson now. Oh, here comes the dogs. They're, they're out here. Oh. oh, here comes the horses too.
How's it doing? How's it going? Good. I'm keeping warm. Oh my gosh, Nacho. I'm yeah. keeping warm. How are you guys doing? Good. Get a nice tour. All right. See you at the house. See ya. Who was that? <laughs> that was Pam, <laughs> oldest daughter. She she knows how to show off to the camera. <laughs> Another party place down here. It, I don't know whether I can even get near that, I don't know. Neighbor kind of fixed it all up, cleaned it up. Something to do. Yeah. I can do it. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. Leave your message here on the telephone. Because we've no idea when we're Just a big steep hill that are real good trails all the way around it until you get to the top. It's uh, a lot of fun to ride horses up around that. It's very high and uh, very steep. <laughs> Here's Davy's Island over here. <laughs> the snow is slippery. Yeah. What happens if we get stuck? Well, I've walked from this side of the farm many times. Seems like if anything's going to happen, it happens clear over here. <laughs> well, made that one. <laughs> that wasn't bad. I guess we can always push. <laughs> yeah, we tried that. We had 11 Boy Scouts in the, the pink Cadillac at one time, and, and I got stuck. They all tried to push, but they couldn't even move it. <laughs> it, was, it was too heavy. <laughs> so we got to walk. In fact, I get a tractor and get it out. How many people have you taught to drive on your land? Well, I had Skyler taught how to do about everything, then he got killed in the car wreck, so, but, uh, I don't know, I haven't really taught too many people how to drive on it, Just get them out here and let them learn on their own. It, uh, it's, it's a different experience, it's a different trails than, than anybody else would have. I don't make anything straight, I want it all crooked round the trees, I don't cut trees out of the way. I just I just make my roads around them, so. But, uh, I done what that recreation guy said, leave it like it is, so. Just make a few trails through it. What do you hope for this land in the future? Well, I hope it can stay like it is so that all the whole family can keep keep enjoying it forever. Right down through all the kids, the grandkids, the great grandkids, and everybody can have it to play on. It's been so great for me. I've, I've had the best life of anybody. I got, always got something to do, roads to build or trees to cut, horses riding all the time and swimming have picnics, Lions Club parties, a lot of things. You can just, everybody wants to come and, and enjoy it. 
They keep telling me that every time I see somebody, they want to get back up here. So now if we just get some good weather so that it, it ain't flooding or something all the time. So, but uh, we got the other land, high land anyhow, so can always have a party. Oh, that's always something. That's hard. That's bad, dangerous too. So. Yeah. But uh, I think maybe eventually those might float away. After when did you first start riding horses? When I first started riding horses? Yeah. When I was about three or four years old, I got my first horse and he threw me off right into a brush pile by a barbed wire fence. But he disappeared that day. Never seen him again. But then the next day, I had, there was another horse, a little older horse, little. It was a tall horse. I had to climb to get on it, but but uh, I rode that horse for a lot of years, and then then I got a wilder horse, and then a wilder horse yet, and then it was, I just kept going. It just I wanted the fastest thing there was all the time. So, but that was the most fun having the fastest horse. So. What is this area here? Well, this was the first campground here. And, uh, and then, then we finally opened up the, the river bottom by the, by the water, and then people wanted to go down there more. But there's still a camp here a lot, too. So. And this is a, the Crick Trail. There's just a little stream that goes all the way down through. <laughs> Made that. <laughs> so what was your favorite horse? Oh god, I had so many different ones. I had... Oh man. I had Sue. Sue was a beautiful white horse. Just as white as could be, a real showy, showy horse, really, really fancy. And then I had Sammy, he was the dancing horse. He'd dance in the parades and he was real fast in the games, he had the biggest trophies. I've, I had a lot of real good horses. <laughs> Rex, oh man, I don't know. At one time we had 73 of them. On this land? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, but, and we, then the horse business got bad, the hay got short, didn't have nothing to feed them, so everybody was getting rid of their horses, but we kept all ours. We, we gave some of them to kids and so forth, but we kept most of the good horses, so. And we still got some of them, so we're still riding them. So. And I didn't, I didn't want to let them go. I'm sure they all appreciated it. <laughs> Yeah, when I come to Grove, I had to have my kids some horses and I got some ponies. And, but then that didn't work so good because then there's all the rest of the kids in town, they didn't have any horses. So, so I had to get some more and I just kept going, kept getting more horses and then finally I got more land to put them on. And uh, so that's how we got so many horses. What's it like being friends with a horse? Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, the Sammy, the dancing horse, he, he was a very wild, fast horse. And one day he come up behind me and put his, put his head on my shoulder. And I didn't move, I didn't scare him. And I just stood there and breathed. I don't know, they, they breathe on each other. There must be some kind of a language or something. Anyhow, he was my best friend after that. He'd, he'd come up and, and uh, stand with me and walk petted all the time after that. We got pretty good, pretty good friends then. So. He was quite a horse. Do you guys treat your horses different than other people with horses? Well, 
we've always had a thing that you you don't ever hit a horse in the face. You I mean you know shoo them away or anything? Because that that's always bad. If you do, then they're always shying from you. And I don't know. We treat them more like like we treat each other. So and and it seemed to work real good because they're really the horses are really friendly. They're easy to catch. They always we feed them a little bit of corn and so forth and. and when we ride them and when we get off and turn them loose, we feed them a little bit and it makes them real friendly. Callie's the one that's really friendly with the horse. She, I don't know, <laughs> seems like she knows what they're doing. So I don't know whether I can go this way or not. Honeymoon cabin back in here. Well. When I was building these cabins, well, my wife said that was the end all of them I couldn't do no more. And then Callie wanted to get married, so she wanted a honeymoon cabin. So, so that's what we done. Me and a whole bunch of kids, we made the made this cabin, and uh, it turned out really good. So, I'm in trouble. Got it. I made it this far. I still got a long ways to go yet. <laughs> what have you learned the most about uh, working with other people and getting along with other people? Because all kinds of people come here, right? Yeah. Well, I had a gas station for quite a while, so yeah. And if you're going to have any business, you got to treat the people really good. And don't talk back much on them. Just, just let them have their own way. And the same way with all the people here. I mean, you just, you keep people happy. Then they always want to come back. I mean, if good things, well, then they like like to be here. So it, uh, I don't know. I just enjoy all of it. So then I had a good family that helped me do everything. Everybody helped clean it up. And, pick up the trees that fall over and, and uh, it uh, that helped a lot that made everything good but you got to work all the time when you got all this stuff so you gotta <laughs> it's I don't know it all works out hey buddy well hey God helped me get a keep it off for a long time but I, I had some problems a few times but but Seem to just calm down, let God handle it, and, and uh, everything's back to normal again. So I like that part. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it feel taking your great grandson on his first ride? Yeah, that's pretty nice, ain't it? Yeah, we have a good time, me and you. Yep, yep. Just wait till you get to ride horses. Yeah, you like that. Yep, yep. <laughs> He's pretty curious. I think he wants to grab your glasses. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that would that would be right. Well, I got a barrel in the road. I wonder if I can move that. It rolled. <laughs> I don't know whether I can get back through out that other one or not. You want to go out by the horses or not? It'll only take a couple seconds more. <laughs> we'll go a little faster. <laughs> ah. So where where are we checking out now? What's what? this what's this part? What are we seeing well, here? This is just where I'm feeding the horses in the field. 
So I get the manure on the field, then I'll plow it up and, and reseed it, and then we'll get better hay. Hey, buddies. Spotted one? Nowhere, nowhere else you can do that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I have a great time here. It's, it's, I get to do the things I like to do. Open a gate or move yeah, something. Maybe we can open this gate. Sure. On. I just gave her warm medicine. All right, thanks, Grandpa. Yeah. I think we got it. Beautiful day again. <laughs> That's right. All right. Okay. Yeah, let him touch the pony. Yeah. better than mine. 